Mm-hmm. Where is the film set and how does the setting inform the animation? Can you give an example of a particular way of moving or a gesture that consultants shared with you to help convey the place? Example, pointing with their lips. So where is the place? And so the place is set in Colombia. You know, the movie sets, uh, it's in Colombia. And uh, we worked with multiple consultants in, uh, to uh, tell us, you know what, uh, to give us like any side of like on, on the Colombia culture and the Colombia history and 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 the personal relationships between people, uh, the directors actually got to go to Colombia uh, very very early on uh, in the process to kind of visit the place and and uh, and learn about the culture and 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 the places and the architecture. So they came back with like a ton of ideas about what they wanted the movie to be like. Um, for us in animation, as we're working with the cons- of our consultants, you know, they, the main focus for us was to be uh, really understand like what can we, what should we be animating that that would transport you into that part of the world. So uh, there were like gestures that people do in Colombia that are very specific. Uh, we learned that you know when people in Colombia when they point at something, they sometimes point with their lip like this. So so when you see Mirabel doing that kind of that kind of gesture, you know, it is very much a Colombian thing that they do over there. And we incorporated that into the film. Uh, and yeah, I mean, we, uh, our main job as animators is really uh, to act to our characters, but also, you know, since the movie takes place in Colombia, we wanted to make sure it was very specific uh, and that we were doing justice to, the, uh, to, to our characters and make sure they felt like they belong in a part of the world. So hopefully when you watch the movie, you, you get transported to Colombia. The house is alive and magical. What were the rules that helped to guide the house's magic? What are some examples of the house's magic? So what are the examples of the rules uh, that will make the house magic? And so when we first jumped on the film, you know, the directors talked to us about this house that that was, uh, you know, that would uh, that's almost like a family pet that will be caring for you, that will be looking after you, and will be always there for you whenever you need it. So as an animation team, we, we normally animate uh, characters. And, you know, characters are, you know, normally people or, or, an anthrop- on a, or a anthropomorphic character, like the characters on Zootopia. So animating a house it was very different than the things we normally do. So uh, we that we we try to figure out like hey okay, how how does that work you know if the house is sad how how do we portray that if the house is saying hello to somebody how does that work uh, the best thing we did at the beginning was just establish some ground rules for the house the house couldn't the directors didn't want the house to be just like a magical uh, like a like a uh, like a house that had uh, uh, that anything in it would move by, it, by its own. So we had a few rules in place to where uh, the things that, that the house could use to emote were things that were attached to it, like uh, tiles or, 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 sconce or sconces. Uh, but if, uh, if the house needed to move a chair, for instance, the chair couldn't just move by itself. The house needed to pick up tiles or the floorboards underneath it and kind of get the, the chair to kind of move around. So that was the basics of, of, of the rules of uh, how we move the house. So, and some of the acting choices on it, you know, that was uh, the interesting part of it where, you know, when the house was interacting with Mirabel, you know, he had its own personality and, and he acted a certain way. He was always there if Mirabel needed something. Uh, so, and creating that relationship between the two of them, thinking of the house as, as, uh, as, as, as something that Mirabel could relate to was really important to us. It really drives a lot of the story all the way through the end. And, and we needed that to be, uh, the audience to be very emotionally connected to the house as uh, not just as a, as a building, but as a character in the film. So that was something that, uh, you know, ourselves and our effects team put a lot, a lot of effort into it. Describe how the approach to animation might change when it comes to a song. Can you give an example of a song and how the animation team approached it? So we had to talk about how we approached uh, animating some of the songs. Um, we, as animators, we often, you know, are, are tasked with the, uh, 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 job of animating uh, uh, the personality of these characters and the locomotion of these characters. And so we act through these characters. Uh, and in the film, we were also challenged with animating all these songs in the film. And to do that, we had to rely a lot on our 
choreographers on our own choreography and we partner up with uh, Jamal Sims and, and as well as Kai Martinez to kind of help us uh, uh, understand we you know uh, the choreography of the sequences and and also the locomotion of sequences so in many of these cases the characters needed to dance and Kai was partnering with us all the way through our uh, uh, all the way through animating the shots uh, in the songs, uh, because as it may surprise you, not all of our animators are great dancers. Actually, some of us can't quite dance very well. So having Kai be a partner with us uh, in this process was really uh, crucial to kind of get us to uh, be able to animate these characters believably. Uh, music in Colombia is a huge thing and you know they're very proud of their music and their uh, and the way they dance you know uh, and we wanted to make sure that was done correctly so having that partnership with Kai and with Jamal was very important for us and so when we're animating these characters uh, uh, dancing is one of the most difficult things for us to do because you know it really needs to be done specifically uh, every footstep has to be done properly every weight shift has to be done properly uh, on top of that, you you also have to animate to a rhythm of a, of, a, of a song. You know, you have to be hitting on those beats very properly, uh, so uh, so the characters are feel really feel like they're in the moment with the song. And and to add another complexity to it, the characters are often acting. You know, there's also you know when they're singing, there's something going on in their lives or something that they're that 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 they need that we need to uh, have the character uh, say to get through this uh, act to portray uh, to, uh, to fulfill a story need, you know, to kind of carry, help carry the story. So all those elements become a very complicated thing for us to do uh, all at once. So having, uh, having a uh, choreographers kind of working with us from the beginning, that was very helpful and crucial to kind of getting the sequences to look as great as they do in the film.